Dr. Nnaya, a former president general of Oranese Ndigbo, worldwide expressed his sympathy for any Igbo political elite supporting the PDP's presidential nominee at a time when many Nigerians from other tribes are behind Mr. Peter Obi, a distinguished Igbo son. He continued by asking why the Igbo political class did not pull regional interests ahead of political correctness and party loyalty. Apart from the fact that Obi is from the Southeast, which according to equity and justice should be permitted to produce the president in 2023, the former information minister claimed that the former governor of Anambra State stands taller than other potential candidates. In his words, he said, all I fear for those Igbo, including my state governor and my brother, Dr. Okwe Sileze Umodo, now supporting Atiku to be president after eight years of the presidency of N another Fulani man, when entire Nigeria is saying that Peter B, who happens to be Igbo, is the best candidate in the race, is a pity, but they are entitled to their opinion. They are all entitled to their opinion. No? Mm. But let's see how it's going to how everything is going to fall out at the end of the day. The moral agents in Igbo are more in population than the moral patients. No moral agent is supporting Atiku, and besides, Atiku will never become Nigeria president. Obi is the answer. Atiku, another full animal, can never be an option in 2023. Okay, that is your own opinion, Mr. Man. Obi is good, man. For justice and equity, it is turn of Igbo people. Whether they can fix the country or not, let's give it to him. No, 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 no. This is not say <laughs> we shouldn't even go that. Nobody, maybe that is your opinion. Mm -mm. It is not the turn of every anybody. We are talking about a competence. We are not talking of a, the turn of anybody. No, 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 no. I don't even want to hear that. With all this suffering, so whether somebody does it well or not, and that is the question a lot of a. Uh, people especially those who are from the southeast they've been asking the question that you think if it was a umahi or oju zokalu or what's this man's name richard zokorucha that came out you think uh, they would have supported them no they wouldn't they wouldn't have supported them people are not supporting this man because uh, he's an Igbo person i think a lot of people maybe that's their own opinion but to me because i've said it if we mistakenly get somebody who is not responsible and you say because it is the turn of the ego, huh? Ego was so because they will tell you it is my turn. So anyhow I do it, anyhow I want it, it's none of your business. Let me just allow me. At the end of the day, who are the people that will suffer more? It is the masses. As far as I'm concerned, all the politicians across the border, they are not suffering. No? They are not suffering at all. The masses are the ones suffering. And they are using the masses against themselves. So it is no matter of it is my turn or it is the ego turn. No, it is not it is not ego turn. No? It's not Igbo talk. We are talking of competent somebody that we make. It is the turn of Nigerians. I think that's just the best thing. God bless you, Wodo. Posterity will remember you. Majority of the people shouting will be as see Igbo people. Don't be deceived. Uh -huh. Why the same Totinumbu, Kokwanso, and uh, Atiku? Those supporting will be are from the region with very weak voting strength. When the time comes, we will know who is who uh -huh. those who are from a stronger whatever voting region you see as they say they enjoy they are, they are enjoying very well whether you see me i'm not even i'm not even afraid whether peter Hobby is going to win if he does i'm not i already prepared my mind my own is that it's an individual thing now but i just pray and i hope for as many who want this country to be better and who are rooting for the right person i pray that god will hear and answer their prayer I pray and I hope they will not be disappointed. But as for me, <laughs> whether I will be wins or you know we know, you know, you know, consign me. But all I want is that he wins. But paraventure, if you know, ever no go for uh -huh. those with the with strong voting, well, voting from other region. You can see how they are enjoying. Let them continue. Now they go use their head. They go still use their head. Say carry on. Anything that will come out, they go use their head. Say carry on. Doctor Nine do. It is time, it is this time you will know the honest Igbos, the elite Igbos are thieves, corrupt, greedy, and jealous because they benefit from the mal administration over the years. They will never support a decent man of their stock to take over. Even some of them who hope to vie for that position in the future will not support to be. I pity us. At the end of the day, 
the youth and genuine Nigerians will triumph over them. A big amen to that. A big amen to that. Nigerians are no longer celebrating independence because of bad leaders and hardship caused by PDP and APC mismanagement. Atiku has bribed them. Not that they don't have money, but because of the spirit of greed. Like I said, they are not suffering. Oh. All the politicians across the border, they are not suffering. That is just the way I see it. So when you talk about marginalization, they, they always talk about the marginalization of the position, not the marginalization of, of the people experiencing poverty and all sorts of. 2023 is between Atiku and Tinumbu. Which entire Nigeria go to the villages outside Igbo land and mention Labour Party or Obi? Uh -huh. May they know here Obi, may they know here Labour Party. All those places where they, you are, where you they talk so eh? now they they suffer. So nobody they the kid there. Nobody they nobody even knows that they kid the themselves. They them just die because that is where all those uh, bandits and all those uh, uh, evil people are perpetrating their perpetrating their evil. They will go to all those interior. They will just kill them like chicken, so they will not even hear. So what they what happens is that you know, I saw Tinubu's wife some weeks ago. All these uh, villages around Abuja now. And those who are handicapped and those who are less privileged, they have been going there. And she, she and her colleagues are saying that, hey, we want to identify with you. And people are like, are you for real? For the past seven years, you've been in this country. And those people are close to you in Abuja, the, the suburb in Abuja. You didn't uh, identify with them. It is now you want to identify with them. And that is exactly what they do. They will just go. See, they've already loaded a lot of rice bags and uh, beans and what have you in st in warehouses. They will just bring them and be and be using it for what and be using and be and be using to entice those people. That is exactly what they will do. Those ones will just collect it and go over and vote. Before you know, they will still kill them in drones because it is only in those villages that all those uh, bandits usually go. Mm. Some people are still talking about the regional and tri tribal policies. The Igbos caused the first crisis in Nigeria when in 1966, Kaduna Chukuma. Ezogu led copies over through the civilian administration. See, eh, congratulations to you. Mm, if Natinumbu now want to, to continue Buari's eh, Wahala, good and fine. Congratulations. If na Atiku, I don't have full animal to take over. Mm -hmm. All for good. Oh. All for good for all of you. You should clap for yourselves. All for good. Well, Obi is not a candidate representing the South East, though he is of the Igbo extraction. But he is simply a candidate representing all Nigerian youth, a detribalized candidate. And that is it. Isn't it stupidity at the highest level? Moreover, it is only a fool that will keep doing the same thing over and over again and still expect to see a different result. Okay, the truth is that uh, Igbo hate themselves. Mm, nobody Igbo hates themselves now. So what do you have to say to... <laughs> I beg you, all this uh, generalization doesn't hold water. 